Alright, so I'm almost done putting together my uh, buddy's new mini ITX budget build and I'm really excited to show you guys uh, everything running. We don't have it in a case yet, but we just have it outside for testing purposes. But we have Windows 7 on and we have a few games and uh, we've even started overclocking the system. So just to recap from previous videos, we have a Vertex 3 and this is a SATA 3 6.0 uh, gigabits per second drive, which hits about 550 read write, very fast. This was purchased for about sixty dollars during a Tiger Direct Black Friday sale. Incredible deal. Um, we have the new ASRock B75 Mini ITX motherboard. Picked this up for ninety bucks, and right on top there, we have a fantastic. G86 Pentium, which is similar to the i3, except for the fact that it is missing the hyper-threading on it. Got that for $65 on, I believe, Directron. And here is the absolutely beautiful Power Cooler 7850, which was purchased for $115 after selling the uh, Never Settle Games bundle from AMD for 55 bucks and getting a $20 rebate on top of an existing Newegg sale, which I believe um, is no longer around. Amazing card. Um, if you can hear it right now, you wouldn't believe it. This system is under full load, 99% utilization on uh, processor and video card. I am absolutely amazed. Um, my mic level is very high right now, and you can barely hear the system running. The uh, huge fan on it is running at only about 40%, and the video card staying at around 65 Celsius, which is uh, A-OK -okay for me. Uh, I like to run my video cards hot anyway, because I'm usually in cramped cases, and this will be a mini ITX build. But the video card comes stock at 860, and I believe 1200 on the MEM. Right out of the box, without using any special tools or adjusting voltage, managed to push this card up to 1000 on the core, 1400 on the memory, uh, right out of the box, incredible, runs cool, stays quiet, and it's it's uh, it's kicking ass, that's for sure. Here's the uh, CX500 Bronze Plus power supply, got this on sale at Newegg plus a rebate for 29 bucks. Amazing power supply for the money, no coil line, no chirping, totally silent rig, I'm really impressed by the quality, and uh, Corsair's really improved their builder series. Of all our extra cables wrapped up over there. Be sure to use zip ties, guys, if you want to get a clean build. We've got the Vengeance DDR3 in the back, 1600, Cas9. We, we're we stuck at 1333 because we are on a sandy bridge, but, you know, may drop an ivy bridge in here soon enough. And that RAM was picked up for 26 bucks on sale. Great RAM. So, uh, uh, you uh, add everything up on this rig, and pretty crazy. Uh, only $386, not counting tax, shipping, most of these parts were tax-free, um, and of course not counting a case, but you can get a SGO5 case plus um, power supply for $115 and then knock off the $30 spent on this power supply. So, you know, altogether a $450 build, amazingly and amazingly powerful. Most people are probably going to doubt my component choices here in prioritizing the video card over the CPU. You're probably going to say, oh, a lot of games, especially games like Planetside 2 that are poorly optimized, are limited by the processor. And I'm about to show you that uh, these parts were picked well, and going with a 7770 and a uh, i5 would have been a very poor decision indeed. So let's check it out. If you guys don't believe me, this thing is running. Absolutely incredible. Let's go over to my... Uh, 1920 by 1200 24 inch HP ZR24W monitor. Love this monitor. IPS panels are great, although I have had some backlighting issues with this, so I have had to have it replaced in the past, but I love this monitor. Look at that, right in the corner there. We are constantly running at around 60 frames per second in a uh, pretty packed sanctuary while well, most of the action is going on behind us. This is totally maxed out. And if you don't believe me, in terms of the graphic settings. Let's pull those up. Totally maxed out. No fog shadows because fog shadows are silly. And uh, keep in mind we aren't running anything ridiculous like ultra mode in our config files. This is the standard um, 
totally high setting, which is really impressive. I'm absolutely amazed with this build. Uh, let's go ahead and go back again. Let me show you something really cool. So if the processor was the issue with this build, you'd see Planetside 2 reporting constantly blue processor issues. Instead, we are seeing the uh, GPU. Not only that, we're getting alternating back and forth between the CPU and GPU, which means that this rig is absolutely perfectly put together, well matched for this game, and for 1080p. And uh, if we would have gone with a slower, or if we would have gone with a speedier processor and a uh, lower end video card, we'd definitely be feeling the pain right now. And there's no way that this game would be this fluid. Absolutely amazing build. Um, I'm really proud of this one. And uh, if you guys are looking to also build a mini ITX rig on a budget, there's tons of great deals out there. Follow Slick Deals, uh, Hard Forum, get lots of information, and you can get totally new parts, three-year warranty, nothing used, although I do support buying used. It's a great way to help the environment and save some money. But uh, amazing build. If you have any questions about this rig, want to see any other performance stats, let me know. Um, so let's uh, see how this rig looks in the beautiful Lion Lee Q11 case. And uh, we'll get some final temperature readings on it. Thanks.